It's time to say important things you won't likely hear or look into due to an extreme lack of the word integrity in your lives. That said welcome cooks and cunts to another episode of what the fuck is Max talking about. This time, we will cover such benign topics, as official regulations that favor domestically produced products and discriminate against foreign products because in Japan they are taught to behave in a selfish manner as a societal whole. A bias standard system unique to Japan such as formal, informal, de facto, or otherwise always leads to non-negotiation. Greed and a lack of altruism due to groupthink mentality and lack of an ability to think for themselves or think in a critical manner that leads to an altruistic choice in their lives. A requirement in some sectors or projects for companies to demonstrate prior experience in Japan is simply in place to close out any foreign competition, they fear the word capitalism effectively shutting out new entrants in the market and being selfish is a way of life for Japan when faced with interactions outside their censored WeChat datum and Bioroid lifestyles. Licensing powers in the hands of industry associations with limited membership, strong market influence, and the ability to control information and operate without oversight to effectively bully any industry they please. China and we chat was not a lesson to you was it? We are looking at you companies like Tencent in China for this as well. Cross stock holding and interconnection of business interests among Japanese companies that disadvantage suppliers outside the traditional business group will be targeted and abused in short order. Expect no respect from a member of Japanese society as a foreign industry or consumer for that matter. Cartels, both formal and informal, rule Japan with an iron fist and only by sucking the proverbial teat of their masters. The cultural importance of personal relationships in Japan and the reluctance to break or modify business relationships are all used as false pretenses of what they imagine are virtues. They are happy to take, but never willing to sacrifice for the world outside of Japan, because they live in the past, they can never get over. It consumes them like a wildfire consumes a forest in the westerly winds. And so the Japanese businessman will feign virtue. But he does not have any ethics per se when applied to any human being that is not in Japan. Selfish would be a gross understatement for my trade interactions with the Japanese. But enough about that let's talk about something else now. Namely your childhood and what it cost your parents and your character to be a blind consumer with half a brain in your head and so dumb that when you shake your head one can hear a brief rattle followed by an extended echo. This is due to the fact you allow a social network echo chamber to think and feel for you. You can see where that might be a problem. Unless you're Tencent in China of course. Then it's just policy. Now I might peek at you but I ain't gonna write you a love song. Do you like Mudcups Anon? Yeah, I bet you do. As does Japan. And they are targeting your blind consumer western masses. Hell they can't even resist discriminating against children in Pokemon trades. These days. And I remember. When you had to catch them all. Not just some of them Anon. Pokemon Clover was so much better. Wasn't it? Today what do we have? Blind consumers. And these consumers are the only kind Japan wants. The Pokemon company and game freaks have evolved into a fine example of that practice. They don't have to create a good product or care what a consumer thinks as long as they can keep that merch moving and people will buy the brand name, Pokemon no matter how stupid or poorly coded or non-integral the product may be. Because they know you are going to go right out and buy that shit. So they don't have any incentive to not include the entire Pokedex, 
In fact they want you to pay an extra fee a few times and after being rolled over and proverbial ass raped. They look forward to seeing your dumb ass again in a few months to do it all over again. With a lackluster, non-innovative product of the same script. With 10-year-old textures and assets. For $70 more than you paid for the game when it came out over a decade ago. Because of course, Japan is not full of profiteering gluttons, with small members, tucked between their short legs and squinting confused demeanor. And sir, one cannot help but think. Do we not deserve better co-creators in this world than Japan and its selfish, discriminating simple-minded be like people who lack any semblance of a mind of their own? One would suppose not. Because here we are. Also, speaking of strange members, do you know that a duck has a corkscrew-shaped penis? Z. Frank knew that. I bet Japan has something to do with that as well. Misshapen penises are common there. We can't confirm that or deny it at the moment because the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence, so we will more than certainly have to get back to you all on that one. That said, the 4chan party van has arrived, and I have to find my lulz ticket. Anyone use WeChat? It's not like it's ran by some company named Tencent, that data mines you regularly. And say, boy howdy, guess what? Partner. Speaking of being data mined. Regularly. Pokemon Go. Terms of service, did you read it? No. Okay then. Enjoy the joint data mine effort, by Japan, and the US Gov, it gets even better kids. At least it's not the US and Israel plotting to create a WMD of code called Stuxnet. Oh and if you like that. And we know you do. DARPA helped fund the Facebook data mine app, so Tencent could plagiarize it when it becomes a metaverse. Like WeChat does all its stolen property also known as apps to the thieves over at Tencent. Tradition at this point, right? It begs the question do they understand the irony of China using the CIA and its own code to spy on US citizens and their government? Also do you remember when a rickroll was quite simply known as the duck roll? Don't remember? Well guess what bucko? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Pepperidge Farm remembers.